welcome back to my new tutorial this tutorial is a continuity part of my previous tutorial in that tutorial i tried to explain the lights in blender as much as possible if you haven't seen that video i'll link that video down in the description first watch that video that will be very helpful in that video i tried to explain each and every light available in the blender in the detailed manner and in this tutorial i'm going to do a interior lighting from the website called 3drender.com this website i know from past a decade now even when i was a student i used to download scene files from this uh, website and i used to do lighting and shading let me download a bedroom file from this yeah this website sometimes um, uh, may work or may not work i'll link this file in the description so you can download and follow the same since i have downloaded it already uh, i'll open the file i'm using blender 2.93 press a to select everything and x to delete and i'm importing fbx interior lighting bedroom fbx i want to switch off these lines which are relationship lines mm -hmm. this is our file and in this file we are going to do interior lighting morning and night as well so part 1 will be a morning lighting and part 2 will be a night lighting so let's get started so before doing lighting i just quickly want to create a camera by pressing shift a camera to view from the camera i'm pressing 0 and to adjust this camera you just need to go to and camera to view so that you can view it from the camera I'm just renaming this and i want my focal length to be less so that it covers more even lesser this view looks okay for me i'm selecting the camera and viewport display i'm increasing this as per out so that everything will be uh, dark here so let's start uh, lighting and coming to the reason why uh, me placing the camera like this is i'm going to do morning and night light as well so i placed in a view so that in this view i can actually see both the windows and also i have included this artificial light which i'll be using in the night lighting scenario so let's start doing the lighting now i'm creating one another window taking a 3d view before light creation i just want to tell you all i'm going to do this tutorial entirely in cycles i'm switching to cycles and i'll be rendering in the basic samples only let me create a light sunlight you can view it here and coming to the world i'll create the world later in this tutorial for now i am just switching off the strength i just only want to view how the sunlight is working here no matter about the placement of the light the sunlight only works based upon the rotation of the light for now this sun direction is okay for me and i'm moving all the lights into new collection calling them like as light we can see this is our sunlight we can also call it as sun underscore e light and the next is so light is coming from here but there is no harsh indication that light is coming from here only so there should be a highlight here which tells the light is coming from this window for that i'm creating a light where it tells that light is coming from here from this windows so before creating them i want to switch off this sunlight so before selecting which light you need to place it's easy and it's a tip of mine to tell you all uh, select a light based upon the shape of your source so the source 
from where the light is coming is the window and window the window is like a rectangle so in our lights the light which is similar to rectangle is our square light so i'm selecting a area light placing it here so now you all can feel that light is coming from this window so my intention of uh, placing this light to show that the light is coming from here and again i mean i'm duplicating this alt d and placing same light here window light 401 window light underscore 02 so even if i switch on this sun key light now you can feel a light is coming from this side and you all can do one another thing that is if you select them and press shift d this time this is duplicate without instance rotate them place them near to window and decrease the intensity i'm decreasing the scale now just quickly render till only key lights for rendering i am pressing f12 so this is uh, with only key lights so this is sun window light and window light too and the inside light i have placed this lights here to create a feel that it is like a key hit here these are the key lights creating a new collection the key lights so i'm switching off all these lights for the fill light i'm going to use the world light going to shader editor in the object i'm switching to world for now i'm going for white color and giving the strength to 1 and i don't want this white color to be visible here you can go to render properties and in the film you can click on the transparent so that it will become transparent here i'm using this background light for the fill light but i'll also be placing lights to create more fill now i'm creating one another area light going to light area light as i told in my previous tutorial the scale of the area light is directly proportional to the sharpness of the shadow so light is coming from this window and it will be hitting this wall so i'll be placing this uh, light on this wall to create that bounce arranging this light based upon the surface rotation again i'm disconnecting the background light to disconnect this i'm just control right click on this the intensity looks uh, very much uh, it, it is looking like i have placed a light here so whenever you place a fill light or a bounce light uh, it should be very minimal now i'm connecting this uh, background to surface same thing i'm duplicating this light again placing it on the other wall as well decreasing the intensity also for this light let's render this and see how the fill is working
so this is the render with the only light slot one is our key light slot two is a fill here now i want to create the differentiate by giving colors since the model is plain lambert if i give the sun color and bounce color we'll have some differentiation for that i'm selecting the lights i'm going to give a sun color so let me switch off these acting the background i want this as sky color so this is the basic uh, interior lighting since this is a lambert adding material you might feel some areas dark or they are not properly lit based upon that you can place light from the floor or else a, a light from the top but this is the fundamental thing so sunlight based upon the sunlight position and uh, source of this window we have placed area lights here and also we have duplicated placed here so that it will create a, a good feel of light coming from this side and we have created a fill light with a background color and also two lights these are the fill lights along with this background so this is the basics of interior lighting morning lighting scenario i'll render a frame now going to the slot 3 I'm pressing f12 to render these So this is the final render. In the slot one. This is only about key light. This is the fill, and I've changed the color of sun and the fill lights. And coming to this noise, if you want to get rid of this noise, all you have to do is you have to increase your samples. I went with 128. you can go with uh, 512 or 1024 it depends upon your uh, system performance for this tutorial my core is to tell you how to do an interior lighting and light placement color so i hope you all got the fundamentals of doing interior lighting this is the morning scenario in the next video i'm going to teach you all how to do night lighting which also have the artificial lights so creating bulbs and using the another light which is available here so i hope you all like this tutorial if you like this tutorial please do like subscribe my channel there is a series of videos coming on interior lighting exterior lighting product and character lighting as well see you in my next video bye